Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Farm update. So in this video, we are gonna be mixing up a load of creep feed and putting it down in the uh, creep feeder in the steer lot. We're gonna be firing up the JCB behind me and we're gonna be taking it down into the barnyard, putting in bales for the cows. And I also have a few updates on the National Farm Machinery Show. Hannah and I will be attending the National Farm Machinery Show on Thursday and Friday of that week. I don't have all the details yet. Uh, hopefully I can get the booth numbers today. Uh, if I do, I'll update you guys by the end of the video or I'll put the rest of the information right down here somewhere. And uh, that way you guys, if you come to the National Farm Machinery Show, you can meet Hannah and I. I'm really excited because it's the, our first public appearance in two years. So I'm excited to get out there and talk to our fans and just meet you guys again. Um, and I'm excited to see a few of our regulars as well that you know always show up to our meet and greets whenever we go there. But uh, I'll have more information on that either down here or later in the video. So uh, if you're going, be sure to swing by and say hi. In our feed mix, I typically throw in about five bags of protein that I get from our local feed mill, which typically has quite a few things in it, the majority being soybeans. Now, mid last year, Travis and I got a pallet of feed sent to us from one of our viewers, Tim Martin. So I just wanna give him a huge thank you for sending us these. And uh, I'm gonna be throwing these bags into the steer stuffer. Now these bags came quite a long way to get to us. They are from Wilson, Arkansas and they're from White Gold Mills, which is actually looking at the tag right on Highway 61 South. So uh, Rockville is actually on Highway 61 South. So Highway 61 pretty much goes from the northern border of the US down to the south. And uh, it's kind of cool that they're on the same road. Now this creep feed is four calves and it contains extruded whole cottonseed meal and a bunch of other minerals that we're gonna be mixing in and uh, using as our additive. So uh, I won't be going over to the feed mill and picking up a load of feed. I'm just gonna be throwing these in to substitute for the soybean uh, protein. So what do you say we head over to the farm, fire up the feed mill and uh, get our day started. The auger on the feed mill that feeds the corn in is pretty much shot, so we use a jump auger. And uh, it's been sitting outside, so it's gotten snow and ice in it. So we needed to take a bucket of hot water over and pour it in it to try to melt that ice. There's not a lot the last I saw, but uh, you know this should pretty much purge it out. And since it's pretty cold today, don't really want to mess around too much. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty bad. they're gonna melt it or make it a bigger problem. We had quite a temperature swing from what it was yesterday. Yesterday's high was 40 degrees and tonight it's supposed to get down to 10 below, not including wind chill. They're saying with the wind, which is gonna be blowing 10 to 25 miles an hour that we could see wind chills below 20 below. So we wanna make sure that everything's got plenty of bedding and feed to make it through this har harsh weather.
solar facility is going to be going in next door this spring. That's exciting in one way or another. Should be interesting to see how that all pans out. Time to load up on that creek feed. Thing. We got these new tires. put down in the steer lot now it's time to put bales in the barnyard I just finished the first row of bales which those bales were the ones that we stored in the pole shed until we put the calves in there we brought them down well, until we wrapped them brought them down and wrapped them and uh, I'm excited to see how some of this other stuff stored with all that wrap on it This is an end bale, so the air infiltrated the first few. But once you get in on the tube a couple bales in, the feed really improves.
takeaway lesson with tracks is that five minutes of cleaning at the end of the day saves you an hour and a half of heating up frozen tracks the next day. Dad mentioned earlier that he was on YouTube and came across a video that was talking about uh, 330G and the differences between wheels and tracks. And uh, in the video, you used some of our footage from the first day that we got the teleskid. And uh, I don't care if people use our footage for pretty much anything, just as long as you give us credit, which he did. But I just wanted to pop back and talk about the teleskid a little bit uh, in response to that video. The channel's name was Good Works Tractors. And uh, he said that he didn't buy a teleskid. He was considering getting one, but he didn't because he was worried about the reliability of the machine and didn't want to gamble with his money. And uh, I felt like I should really, you know, mention something. Uh, as far as the teleskid goes, anytime, any day, no matter what job I'm looking at doing, I never ever worry about, you know, something happening on the machine, something not working. Uh, the machine always functions as it should. I have done things that I should and probably shouldn't do with a CTL. And uh, I can honestly say that through all my experiences with the Teleskid, I have nothing but positive things to say about it because I've had nothing but good experiences with it. I mean, personally, after running the 330G of Dad's, um, my personal preference is still the Teleskid. I know that Travis said that he uh, likes the power of the 330G, but what I like about this thing is that it doesn't have def. Um, that's a big thing for me, but uh, otherwise, totally reliable unit, don't have any problems with it, and uh, I highly recommend it to anybody that's looking at a CTL. I, I absolutely love my Teleskid. That's like my third time going through that because I tend to fumble my words sometimes, especially when I get cold and my hands are starting to get pretty well froze, so I'm gonna call it a night. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All Hot Farms work, and with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>